Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to discuss about parallax. So, what is parallax? Parallax is the angle at the center of the celestial body. So, this is a celestial body, and the angle at the celestial body, which is contained by the center of the Earth, by the center of the Earth, and the observer on the surface of the Earth. So, parallax is the angle at the center of the celestial body, contained between the center of the Earth and the observer on the surface of the Earth. Then, but why it is caused? It is caused because we are observing the body from the surface. So, we are observing the body from the surface, not from, not directly from the center of the Earth. Therefore, there is a parallax. Now, what is horizontal parallax? So, when the body is at the sensible horizon, as you can see in this picture, this body is at the sensible horizon. The angle contained between the center of the earth, the angle contained between the center of the earth and the earth and the observer on the surface of the earth. So, this is what we call horizontal parallax. So, now it is clear, well clear that what is parallax and what is horizontal parallax. So, parallax will be maximum at sensible horizon and it is zero at the observer's zenith. Value of parallax is negligible of uh, four stars because they are very far away from us. And the, the value of parallax for planets is uh, given in the nautical almanac. And for sun, it is given in page 453 of the Nuri's nautical table. And uh, the value of horizontal parallax of moon is also tabulated and we can cal calculate uh, the parallax of moon using this formula. Now, so now we will see some derivations related to parallax. So here, let's say this is a celestial body and this is the celestial sphere and this is the earth. And this is the center of the earth and this is the parallax and altitude, this is horizontal parallax, this is apparent altitude and uh, this is the true altitude as you all know I think so. So as I have uh, told you that the true altitude is angle RCX, altitude above sensible horizon is angle SOX that we call apparent altitude, angle XOXC is the parallax, OXC is the parallax in altitude. So now we all know that uh, when uh, two lines are parallel and uh, the corresponding angles between them are equal. So applying the same concept here, angle RCX, angle RCX is equal to angle XTS here. And now we also know the exterior angle property that this is a triangle, this is the exterior angle of the triangle and the sum of these interior two angles is equal to the exterior angle. So therefore angle XTS is equal to angle SOX, angle SOX plus angle OXT, angle OXT. So using one and two, we will get angle RCX is equal to angle SOX and angle plus angle XOXT. As we all know that angle RCX is true altitude, SOX is, uh, SOX is apparent altitude and OXT is parallax in altitude. Therefore, there is a relation true altitude is equal to parallax in altitude plus apparent of altitude. So parallax is always additive. So now we will see another derivation in triangle OCX we apply sine rule we will get sine of angle OXC divided by OC equals to sine of uh, angle COX by CX. Angle OXC is the parallel in altitude, therefore sine parallel parallax in altitude equals to OC by CX into sine COX. As we all know, COX is equal to 90 degree plus angle XOT and uh, angle XOT is the apparent altitude. So this will convert into cos of angle XOT and OC by CX. So in triangle, as we know that uh, radius of a circle is R equal, therefore OX is equal to CS. And in angle, in triangle COS, sine sin HP each horizontal OC by CS, not CS by OC. So I have written. Parallax, and which results in sine of parallax in altitude equals to sine of horizontal parallax into cos of apparent altitude. So this much is important from this topic and hope you have liked it. Thank you.